All right, guys, how's your first pupusas? Good. It tastes like cheese. Tastes like cheese? What do you think? Tastes like bread, cheese, and vegetables, and hot stuff. Pupusas. Yummy. Good. We've split into groups. Uh, we've had several different projects going on at, at one time. Uh, we had groups that would go to the, actually we got to go meet the people in the villages. They opened their doors to us, so we got to go actually spend time with them. Uh, we would help them prepare m meals. It's been eye-opening the amount of work that goes into it. So we would have a group that did that, and the other group would come back and there's different projects going on here. Sustainability projects and projects to to help the community and the environment and everything that's going on here. So the kids, they, they got to touch several different projects. They got to love on the people, meet the kids, go to the schools, and uh, come in and actually do hands-on work too. It's just been a blessing. What are you doing? Killing spiders. Killing spiders. Yeah. They're everywhere. fun and difficult. Uh, we've done a lot of new things that I've not tried before. Um, it's been great to get to know the people, so it's just been awesome. I really loved it. Um, Ruby, I got to cook with her today, and she kind of just showed me how hard the women here work and how much effort it takes to do certain things, and it was just amazing. And it would be a what are you guys doing? How's it going? How do you like it? It's fun. When I was dead, you gave me life. How could I not give it away so It's been a learning experience. I've watched them work and realized it's a lot of hard work to be living here. Much yeah. harder than what we have at home. I've really enjoyed like working, playing soccer, all that stuff. 
I've had a lot of fun playing soccer with all the kids here, and we've built um, earth bags and made it to where the water doesn't hit the house. It's been really different because, I've, of course, none of us are used to this, and seeing how people live, like their homes, and it's really crazy because they have so much less than we do. And But they just, they work with it, and they work hard all day, every day. They prepare the meals, like even just lunchtime, they start working at like nine o'clock in the morning, and they keep going and going and going all day. Even the kids work, and it's been really eye-opening. I can see God through these people here, so. And I've gotten closer to these people, and I can just tell that he's with these people because he loves them. I really loved all the people here because everyone's, they all seem hospitable and they always talk to you if you talk to them. And they're very polite and they're just really great. The students have done extremely well. It's been really neat to watch them go from the first day here, they were timid and shy, to now they're over playing with the kids in Sitio and making friends and saying buenas to everyone we pass on the street. It's been neat to watch. They've worked really hard. They've really learned how to support each other and bear one another's burdens instead of the leaders having to step in and help them out. I've seen them encourage each other today. They've experienced God here. Um, in a new and very special way than the way that I see them experience God at home. Into the homes of the broken Follow you into the world Meet the needs for the poor and the needy God felt the students have done over the last week? I think they've done really, really well. Um, some of them haven't ever worked this hard before, and some of them haven't had to do things like eat the food that they've eaten. Um, but I think that they've done really well at uh, coming together as a group to eat food and to encourage each other to keep on working hard, and I think they've really grown a lot. I think they've really enjoyed their time here. Real, victory. 